so you want to learn how to build the perfect armor sets. In this video I'll go through exactly that and how I build mine slightly differently than most people you know. Obviously this takes slightly more effort at the beginning but reduces the amount of work when new exotics get added. This also allows to quickly switch between exotics instead of having to remember which armor piece goes with what exotic and what mods you need to switch where if you're using the same piece through two sets. You may have noticed I only have one legendary armor set on my character. This is done on purpose. And you may be asking why. This is because I build the stats I want with the legendary armor set and then farm exotics around those stats or as close as I am bothered to farm exotics. On my warlock I have 30 mobility, 50 resilience, 100 recovery because who doesn't want to regen health quickly, 100 discipline, more grenades and 50 intellect. Now you may be wondering why I chose 100 discipline over 100 intellect. This is because with the recent changes to how super regeneration works I just don't find tier 10 intellect useful and 10 strength. Yes, I would go lower if I could. Now that you know what stats to go for, you may be asking how do I get good high star roll armor? At this moment there's three-ish ways to do so reliably. The first, and the way I would recommend doing it, is Master Grasp of Avarice, because the extra artifice mod slot for artifact mods. Secondly, you can do Master Dares of Eternity, which will take slightly longer, but also easier than farming Grasp. And finally, Master Vaulted Glass, and I would assume the Master version of the Witch Queen raid as well. The reason I don't recommend doing Master Vog is not only is it harder, but it's also on a weekly lockout, unlike Master Grasp of Avarice, which is farmable. Okay, now that you know where to find your perfect star roll armor, we're going to go to D2 Armor Picker, which is linked in the description, and here on the left side you will choose the stats you want. I would recommend going for 100 recovery first, and you'll see certain stats starting to be greyed out, like I can no longer get 100 resilience. Then I focus on 100 discipline, and then the rest of the stats however you want. If you're on Hunter, you should focus on Mobility before Discipline, and Titan, you can build it exactly the same as I build my Warlock. Since yes, a faster Barricade cooldown is nice, but better Health Regen and Grenade cooldown is substantially more potent. And yes, I'm aware your Bubbles and Wells will take more damage, but this will never be a problem in PvE. Now, what I would do is go and change the pieces to the affinities I want and make general all-around set for every activity in the game. And what I mean by this is a way to generate Charge with Light and then Protective Light. And this is the only build you will ever need in the game. For me, this works by using Elemental Ordinance, which creates Elemental Wells when I get a kill with a grenade. And then Elemental Charge, which gives me one stack of Charge with Light when picking up an Elemental Well, or two stacks if the Elemental Well matches your subclass. But since you're generating Elemental Wells with your grenade, it will always be matching your subclass. Then Protective Light on my arms for damage reduction. I also run Well of Ordinance, so whenever I pick up Wells, I get Grenade Energy back and Rinse and Repeat. Okay, let's finally move on to the good stuff. At this point you should probably have a full set of legendary gear with the stats you want. Now we're gonna go farm legend lost sectors. Yes, legend, not master. Unless it's a really easy lost sector that's just as fast as legend, since the 5 or so percent increase you are getting is not worth most of the time. You're going to continue doing this until you get the exotic you want with the same stats as the legendary armor piece in that slot. For example, my helmet stats are 8, 4, 28, 16, 17, and 4, and a resilience mod to make my resilience 14. This means that I'm looking for an exotic helm, in this case a crown of tempest, that has the exact same stat distribution. As you can see, I am okay with dropping my recovery down to 21 and using a recog mod instead of a resilience one. This will drop my overall resilience down to a tier 4, but it will maintain my tier 10 recovery, and my mental sanity, as I've been farming Legend of the Lost Sectors for decades. All you have to do now is repeat this process for all the exotic pieces on your class, or just the ones you like using. And as you may have guessed, now you're going to change all the pieces to that element that you have in that slot, put on the exact same mods, and now you can change the exotic armor piece, subclass, and your stats will never change, and neither will your build. Whether it be a charge with light build I explained earlier, or a war mind cell build you enjoy using, or whatever you like to run. The best part is, when a new exotic comes out, for example the new gauntlets for Warlock giving you two cold snaps, I just have to farm the lost sector that day until I get the stats I want on my gloves, and I do not have to go out and farm a new legendary armor set. I would also recommend saving these builds on Dim, in the loadout section, in case you change something and don't remember what you had. Because since Bungie removed the glimmer cost on mods, Dim can now change those mods on your armor sets for you, when you're in orbit. So I have one loadout saved for each of the lost sectors I farmed this season, including the weapons, so I don't have to think what I ran the last time, because it swaps the champion mods I need and all the other good stuff. As of this going live, I will also be live in a few hours, just before the launch of the Witch Queen, doing some legendary campaign with some clanmates. So come check it out. 
Feel free to leave any more questions you may have down below, and why not share if you found it useful. The end is just me running through the law section on the Cosmodrome to show how easy it is to create and maintain protective light. That's it for now, and I'll see you all for more guides and whatnot soon.